Let's read the question. Find the length of the chord intercepted by the circle x square plus y square minus 8x minus 2y minus 8 equal to 0 on the line x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. Here they are saying the question is that there is a line. On this line, a circle is passing. Okay. And they gave the equation of this line. The equation of this line they have given as x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. And also they gave the equation of this particular circle also that is x square plus y square minus 8x minus 2y minus 8 equal to 0. So this is the equation of the circle given and so they gave the equation of this particular line. So by using the equation of this particular circle we can find out the center of this particular circle and also we can find out the radius of this particular circle. Right. So let's do that forward. So first I'll write the given part and we'll see what do we get. So I can write here given circle equation is so the circle equation is x square plus y square minus 8x minus 2y minus 8 equal to 0. So this particular equation will just compare with the general equation of the circle. So the general equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So when we compare the general equation and the given equation, we can easily find out the center of this particular circle. So to find out the center of the circle, I can write here center where I'm just taking it as C. So we can find out by using center as minus G comma minus F. So when we compare this minus G comma minus F with the general equation and the given equation, uh, simply we are getting the center, the C value as 4 comma 1. So in same scenario, we'll just find out the radius also. So I can write here radius equal to of course, the radius we can just take it as r. So that is under root of g square plus f square minus c. So let's submit these values. Uh, whereas the g and f value were already there. So we can just take here. This is 4 square and this is 1 square and the c value that is minus 8. So this is minus of minus 8 and this is under root. So we can simply write 4 square is 16 plus 1 square is 1 plus minus of minus this is plus 8. So in total, if you just take uh, this is we are getting the value as 25 that is root 25. So that is nothing but we are getting 5. So the radius we got it as 5 and the center we got 4 comma 1. So now the center uh, we got it as 4 comma 1 and the radius we got it as 5. All right. So now by using this uh, radius and the center, particularly by using the center, we can find out the perpendicular distance from this particular line, right? So this line is acting as a card, right? This is a card when we compare only inside the circle parts and that was just a card. So either the line or card, whatever. So the perpendicular distance we are finding out from the center of the circle to this line. So in order to find out that uh, perpendicular distance, so we have the formula. So we'll use that. Therefore perpendicular distance all right uh, we'll just see the perpendicular distance from center actually so center we got it as 4 comma 1 so i'll write that center 4 comma 1 to the line so what was the line they gave the line equation also right so i'll write that so that is x plus y plus 1 equal to 0 is so we have the formula i'll write over here that is ax1 plus by1 plus c mod whole by under root of a square plus b square. All right. So let's further solve this and we'll see what do we get. So we're just taking this line equation. I'll write here x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. So to this line equation, I'll just compare with the general equation of a line that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So this is a linear equation of a line. All right. So now this when we compare with this general uh, given equation. So we are getting a equal to 1, b also 1 and c also we are getting 1 as the value. All right. So even the center we have that is 4 comma 1. So here we have already written. So this we could take x and this we can take as y. All right. So let's submit these values in this particular one and we'll see what do we get the answer as. Okay. So let's submit. Uh, we'll see what do we get after submitting the values. 
okay so as this is a distance i'll write a perpendicular distance as d so a value is 1 and the x value we have 4 b also 1 and the y value also 1 and c value is 1 so that is mod under root of a value is 1 so this is 1 square b value is also 1 so this is 1 square under root of so let's solve this forward so this is 4 ones it was 4 plus 1 into 1 1 plus 1 so there is mod under root of 1 plus 1 so this is root 2 so we can further solve this 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 so this is 6 by root 2 okay actually we can this uh, further solve this uh, this is 6 in the sense we can write the 6 as I'll write over here I can write that as 3 into 2 by root 2 so 3 2 is nothing but 6 so again this 2 I can write this as root 2 into root 2 whole by root 2 so this root 2 root 2 can be cancelled so we will be getting this as simply 3 root 2 you I hope you might have understood root 2 into root 2 is nothing but 2 so any number we, we could just write like this as 2 is root 2 into root 2 so it may be any number suppose 5 uh, we can write that as root 5 into root 5 so same scenario we have applied over here instead of 2 we wrote it as root 2 into root 2 then we could cancel the denominator so the value applied is 3 root 2 so that is the perpendicular distance from center of the circle to the line which is passing right so here this is the distance we got perpendicular distance okay so this perpendicular distance whatever we got that is 3 root 2 we got so now by using this perpendicular distance and also by using this radius of the circle we can find out this length of the chord all right so let's do that so therefore length of chord so that is equal to 2 into under root of r square minus d square all right so 2 into under root of the radius value will just write here the radius is nothing but 5 so we'll write here this is 5 square and the d value is 3 root 2 so i can write 3 root 2 whole square so let's solve this so this is 2 into under root of 5 square is 25 minus this is 3 square is 9 into root 2 whole square that is 2 okay this is 2 into under root of 25 minus 18 so that is 9 to the 18 so here we are getting this value as uh, 2 into under root of this is 25 minus 18 in a sense we are getting the value as 7 all right so length of the card we are getting that is 2 root 7 units all right so let's review clearly one more time then we'll get 100% clarity they have given the equation of the circle and the line equation so that is this line is there on the line the circle is passing so they gave the line equation and the circle equation by using the given circle equation we got center of the circle we even found the radius of the circle so by using the center we we are able to find out the perpendicular distance from this line to the center so we got the perpendicular distance as 3 root 2 so now by using this 3 root 2 and by using this radius of this particular circle we can find out this length of the card so the length of the card which is obtained that is 2 root 7 so this is all about this particular question